looky here. On the bottom, we have a normal organ. I think you can recognize it again as being a pancreas because you could see lobules. You can see the lobules consist of asini. And just to prove to you this is not really a uh, salivary gland like a parotid, in addition, we have these nice little islets of Langerhans in which you could see the cell outlines and nuclear outlines very nicely. These are not hyalinized. But what do we have up here? We also have a pancreas, but it looks like approximately half of it is fat. And just as though we saw an increased deposition of fat within the liver, we called it fatty change or fatty infiltration or fatty metamorphosis. I think we could pretty much do that with the pancreas as well. There is an abnormally increased deposition of fat within this pancreas, so we'll call it fatty infiltration. Normally, the pancreas should be very little fat. Up here, it looks like it's about half fat. Well, do you think this person who has a lot of fat in their pancreas might have a lot of fat elsewhere? Sure. Fatty pancreas is associated with obesity as well as a whole bunch of other things. Fatty pancreases usually do not cause a clinical disease or diabetes unless it is very severe. Uh, notice that the pancreas lobules and asini look pretty good. Notice that the islets, like here, look pretty good. Uh, notice that we got a main pancreatic duct here, which looks pretty good. The only abnormality in this pancreas is that half of it is fat. Thank you very much.